Well, it's finally here. The long-awaited GL10 Spotlight for the Mavic 3T. Waited for this guy for too long. I'm uh, really excited to do this review. We're going to go over a simple flight here where I'm going to locate some animals, see the capabilities of light, and make an overall assessment on it. Initially set up the uh, Mavic 3T with the GL10 Spotlight combination here and turned it on. It complained about magnetic interference. I went through a calibration with it on and then it checked out. Uh, but if you notice up there in the top right corner, keep an eye on that the whole flight and you'll see pretty much a constant satellite fluctuation. Uh, it does get better and better as it goes, but it's definitely out of the norm. Something to keep an eye on. As you can see here, we found some deer in a hay field. When you turn the spotlight on, you can see at max brightness, it provided plenty of illumination, even at 200 feet to identify what you were looking at. You will notice what looks like frame shake during some of the shots. This seemed to fix itself when zooming the camera. I think it's related to the change between the zoom camera and the wide angle camera. With a little practice, you can find a sweet spot and everything is nice and clean. Typically, when I scan for deer during recoveries, I stay at 250 to 200 feet. A lot of times you find a deer in thermal and then descend to around 150 to 100 feet to verify what you're looking at with the spotlight. This spotlight is more than sufficient for that. Some negatives, the spotlight is a little on the taller side and given the added weight, you can feel it makes the drone a little bit sluggish in maneuvers than what I'm used to. This is on a relatively calm night, so I do plan to do a follow-up flight with higher wind speeds to see the effect of the added spotlight size and weight on the drone. Stay tuned for future videos on that. The GL10 turns the Mavic 3T into a very cost-friendly option for deer recovery and search and rescue operations. That being said, I would definitely take a 30T over the 3T given my experience with both drones. Pros of the 30T over the 3T for deer recovery, weather resistance, wind resistance, RC plus controller, flight time, better sensors, the laser range finder, the hot swap batteries, the bigger payloads with less effect in flight behavior. The 30T barely even notices them. Case in point, the GL60 mini spotlight, which has 7,000 lumens, will be a game changer for finding things at night. Stay tuned for a review on the GL60 Mini as soon as I get my hands on one. Keep in mind the GL10 for the Mavic 3T in this video is 1800 lumens and it performs great. So imagine what 7000 lumens could do for recoveries. Stay tuned, I will be doing a video going over the full kit that I use for deer recoveries. I will be going over all the hardware and software I use to make my recoveries easier. If you have any questions, please leave me a comment and subscribe to see more.